Back inside the spectrum in Logan, Utah. Aggies by 10. Two of the hottest teams in the country. A little bit choppy in the first half. Courtside, Brent Stover, Bob Wenzel. Your impressions of what we're seeing here? Well, two things are happening in this game. The defense of Utah State is fantastic. San Diego State shooting 21%. That's very odd for San Diego State. The second thing that's fueling that defense is this crowd. I mean, this is unbelievable. I, I, I mean, I've been in a lot of places, a lot of good places where it's loud, and the things that they're doing in the student section have been remarkable. And I think that is fueling the energy for the defense. And Utah State's defense always begins with number 23. I mean, this kid can really block shots. 70 coming into the game. Kaden now has 72. Not only did he block shots, he intimidated the interior and led to fast break baskets on the part of his teammates. When he wasn't in there, it was a little bit easier for San Diego State. But say, take a look at this, huh? I mean, this is really how you want to play basketball and how Craig Smith wants his team to play. Mitchell was the lone bright spot offensively. Right at the beginning of the game, he made a three. And then when Kata was out, he understood the situation, drove to the basket, and scored in there. So Mitchell's the bright spot. They need more of him. And we take a look at tonight's stack stats brought to you by Pringles. Well, points in the paint are the big story for Utah State. Those fast breaks we, sh we showed in the half court, they're executing well. And Quinn Taylor's got eight points and five rebounds. He's the best player on the floor so far for Utah State. You mentioned Kata, his presence at the defensive end. He sat out the last five and a half minutes after he picked up his third foul, and he begins the second half on the Utah State bench. And that's where he should be with three fouls. Big lead. Try to get your offense going. Send Merrill in and out, and what a job by Bean flying through for the stick back. That kid's a walk-on, and he won their slam dunk contest competition on opening day of practice. He's got some hops. Chaitlin McDaniels has been silent. 0 for 3, no points. Devin Watson hasn't done much either. He hands off here to McDaniels. Shot clock at 8. McDaniels in trouble. What a job at this end by Justin Bean, the redshirt freshman. When you talk about Watson, and McDaniels, together they average 32 points a game. He just simply slips. Looks that looks almost like a Zion Williamson slip right there. Fortunately, well, he is favoring it a bit, but he's trying to cut it out here. Quinn Taylor going to work for the Aggies. Spins and lane and kicks, open three. Merrill again rattles out. Here comes Mitchell. Mitchell to the rim. No. Brock Miller wants to run. Abel Porter. Taylor down the lane. Kicks. Bean on the baseline. A kick. This is pretty ball. Porter. And that one's short. Great ball movement, though. You're right. San Diego State has muffed, I don't know, maybe seven layups in this game. Just using poor judgment in crowded situations. Better to pull up a little. Miller defends on Mitchell. Shot clock at 10. Hemsley watched by Porter. And now Mensa with seven to shoot draws the double. McDaniels on a three and he buries it. It's a two. His foot was on the line. His teammates want him to shoot that. There's no doubt about it. They need him to get back in the game, but he is limping. McDaniels has been cold, but so has Merrill been very cold in this game. Taylor misfires that time. What a job, though, by Miller. He attacks. It won't fall. Bean back up and in. Bean on the boards. Timeout, Aztecs. A miss here. Bean. Right place. Good fake.
You are watching March to March presented by California Almonds in Logan. Home team by 12. Tomorrow night on CBS Sports Network, it's a triple header of hoops. Starting off with some Big East action, Georgetown hosting DePaul at 7 Eastern, followed by 23rd ranked Cincinnati battling SMU then at 11. In-state battle, number 12 Nevada looks to protect their perfect home record against UNLV. Standings in the American, there are the Bearcats, 12 and two in the league. Houston, uh, number one in the league, 26 and one overall. Their only loss was to Temple. If you haven't seen Jaron Cumberland play, you want to tune into that because he's one of the best in the American for Cincinnati. Bean has been electric to start this second half at both ends. The Aggies, 12 of their 14 makes have been layups. It's a good thing because they're just one of 15 from downtown. Meantime, Watson and McDaniel, the two stars at this end, a combined one of 13 from the field. And a block by Bean, again a big play. Give this guy a scholarship right now. Coming from behind. Watson having a little bit of a tough day today. Bean always seems to be in the right place. End of the shot clock, fall away goes down, and they had to have that from Watson. Watson hurt his wrist in the last game a little bit. He had tape on his hand. The tape is now off of his hand. Justin Bean. I mean, I don't know what more you can do in the opening three minutes of a half. They've started this half just like they played in the first half. High energy, great D. Shackle, got it. I think that's the first open shot I've seen them get all game long. Seems like it. They are just nine of 33. And now four of nine from downtown. Shackle's made two of those. Brock Miller. Watson defends on Porter. Porter's a steadying influence. Yeah. Miller watched by Shackle. Five to shoot. Miller. Blocks by Mensa. Here they come with Watson. Pull up three. Transition short. And a big time hit that time. It's Nolan Narain. Didn't mean to do it. A little bit too physical. Foul on him. 37 28. Early second half. Here in Logan, Justin Bean is the story to start this second half. He's got one block. He's three of four from the field. He's Mr. Hustle all over the place. He's got six points and five rebounds and a ton of enthusiasm. What a guy off the bench. So Justin Bean owned the game brought to you by California Almonds. And there he is getting a rest and his team leading by nine at the under 16. You know, it feels like the domination that they should be up by about 25 right now. Because San Diego State is playing way below their norm. They have been on a great run. The Aztecs have been. They've won eight out of nine games. And among those wins was a win over number six, Nevada. And what we're seeing here tonight is not the team that beat Nevada. Now, admittedly, that was at Viejas, which is also one of these great venues in the Mountain West. A tremendous home court advantage there. And this is a difficult place to play right here. Porter, Bean, Merrill, along with Brito and Kata. Out of the timeout, Utah State and Kata with the tip in. Follow. Merrill is now 3 for 12 and 0 for 7 from three-point range. And he averages 20 a game. And his team is doing well without him having a good game. And that was one of your keys to the game. Was Indeed. What kind of help he would get, right? Yeah. And they're doing more than helping. They're having to do it tonight. Narain on a push underneath. 
Anton Brito. Utah State is 1 of 15 on threes. Talking about a team that is, uh, is outstanding from out there. We got 10 more threes in 12 games this year and a big time defensive stop right there. Everything going the Aggies way. San Diego State trying to do a little full court pressure, but Porter handling it beautifully. Porter had nine rebounds in the first half. That's an offensive foul there, though. That is a moving screen. You cannot turn on somebody. Was that on Kata or Porter? Porter, his second. Right. He turned when he was handing the ball off. The lead is 11. San Diego State going to try to chip away here. A quack, a rope. Picked up by Bean. Here's Narain. Back and down and Kaden. Double comes. Shackle. Upat. Great play spot bat by Narain, knowing who his shooter is. Shackle left wide open. He's three for three. Shackle is from downtown. Burrito turns the corner. Tough shot goes down. Brito's doing some talking too. <laughs> I don't know if he's speaking in Portuguese or, <laughs> but he is after McDaniels. McDaniels takes home a tough shot. I'm surprised there's no technical foul right here. Both of those guys are mouthing off at one another. Porter all the way to the rim, couldn't finish. Shackle trying to rip it out of there. Porter able to tie him up. Jump ball going the other way. Good block. Everybody's surrounding the basketball. Shackle wants a foul. Good play by Porter. Hemsley back in. Has not done a lot offensively in this game. If you're San Diego State, you've got to attack the glass with four guys when you're down this much. Mensa, turnaround shots down. Kato was afraid to foul him, don't you think? Mm -hmm. He's got three. He got those. Uh, he got that third with just under six to play in the opening half. Rito's fiery, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven minutes deep, second half, six-point game. Try to lob it for Kato against Mensa. Double comes and he's fouled. Those are the two Portuguese players on the team. Brito is older. And right here, Mensa makes a very, very nice move on Keita. Shoots it with his left hand. Keita went straight up, didn't jump for fear of fouling. Keita is the younger of the two Portuguese players. Brito was playing on the national team. They did not know one another. Keita knew of Brito. They know each other pretty well now. Yeah, well. Keita came from humble beginnings, and when he showed up here, he was so just thankful and appreciative of everything. First time he ever saw, you know, the student athlete buffet, he was like, so wait, I get to choose from Mollis? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> and then he can go back for seconds, and then thirds, and fourths. And how, he just, you know, represents everything, according to the coaching staff, that, that you want out of a student athlete. Finally, Merrill, Merrill gets a clean one. And he drills it. Finally, he gets a clean one on a set play from the out of bounds. 44-35. Pick and roll from Mensa in the finish. Beautifully done. Nice pass by Hemsley. The Mets has scored a couple of times. They need to keep going to him, right? The Aztecs have knocked down their last four shots. They're staying within striking distance. Kata banks it home in the foul. 
Hard post went up right away. And the good thing is he didn't slam in that. that to me, that's a technical foul. Yeah. I mean, that's a technical foul. And I don't know whether the officials saw it. You know, they don't see everything that we see on the monitor, obviously. But there's been a lot of chatting in the last couple of minutes, both sides. I think that's a T. He has been teed up. And he deserves it. That is inexperience right there. You're just singing his praises. Every, represents everything. You gotta trust me on that one. They, 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 they sing high praises. Well, you're right about him. I mean, that's not a terrible thing for somebody to do. It, it's an inexperienced thing. We just got to mark down. 12-10 to go is when the technical happened. Now let's see what develops from here. And that's his fourth foul now for San Diego State. McDaniel's a couple of sequences ago got his third, so he's on the Aztec bench at the moment. But McDaniel's hasn't been a factor in the game, although he could be in the late going. Been a factor about every other time out. <laughs> he has been. 26 out of 27 games has had double figures. He told me before the game he didn't like that you were going to be here. Sure. You're not the only one, I promise. <laughs> so Kata knocks it in. And Kata's going to come out with those four fouls. Just picked up the tee. Bean back in. It's an eight-point Aggie advantage at 12-10 to play. Long, long time to go. How confident can San Diego State be? Can they get Shackle more shots? Can they crash the offensive boards? Can Utah State get Merrill some clean looks? Merrill has got 11 points, but just one of eight from downtown. Mensa, turnaround, will go. And corralled by Merrill. Nice blocking out by the Aggies. They're a good rebounding team, and that's why they block out their physical. Foul away from the ball. Timeout under 12. Utah State leading by eight. You are watching March to March presented by California Almonds inside the spectrum. Rocking tonight. As we take a look at our game summary, it's brought to you by AT&T. Well, Shackle is uh, doing some uh, damage in the second half with his three-point shooting. He's got 13, nobody else in double figures. The percentage from the field for San Diego State is the story of the game. Only 33%, and they're much better in the second half. And that's why it's staying reasonably close. Points in the paint, very, very lopsided for Utah State. 34 to 12. With that kind of statistic, and you're only down by this many points at this juncture in the game, Brian Dutcher has to be thankful. San Diego State 7 of 11 to start the second half. And off the inbound, out of the timeout, they convert underneath with Quinn Taylor. Aztecs fall asleep. Here's Hemsley, 10 to shoot. Corner three, McDaniel spins out. Weak side board for Taylor. Merrill, nifty, scoop shot down. That looks like the Merrill who's the all-conference player there. 13 now for Sam Merrill. 51-39 as we approach the midpoint of the second half. Utah State, the second place team in the Mountain West. San Diego State in third. McDaniels attacks and he's fouled by Brito. Sam Merrill between the legs and between Aztec players. Good passer, good shooter. Maintains his poise when things are not going his way. And foul on Brito is his third. McDaniel's playing here. He's got three, and he's yet to 
Get things going offensively. Knocks in this one. San Diego State winners of eight of their last nine, including a win over then number six Nevada last week. Utah State, they've won four straight and 11 of 12. Jerry Palm currently has the Aggies as one of his last four in to the NCAA tournament. They are going to welcome Nevada this weekend into this building on the CBS Sports Network. In close, couldn't convert that time. A run out for Watson. Devin Watson, tough shot will go. Devin, where are you going, man? Aggies with numbers, three on one. Bean back to Porter. They're going to pack it out for Merrill. Slicing, and he gets fouled. Well, for number 11, Matt Mitchell. His third, fifth, take foul. In addition to what you said about Utah State, they have a net of 37. One more. Friday night, 10 Eastern. CBS Sports Network hits the ice with some NCHC action as the 20th ranked North Dakota Fighting Hawks fly into Colorado College and battle the Tigers on the 24 hour home of CBS Sports. Got them both. 13 point lead, 10 10 left. McDaniels, Bean defends, McDaniels rattles out, Brito clears. Nobody on the offensive glass for the Aztecs. Both centers are out of the game right now. Mensa is out and Kata is out, both sitting on the bench. Small guys game right now. No rim protection for either team. The clue here is to take it to the basket, and that's what Merrill's been doing. And he gets fouled on the way up. Foul is number three. And that's on uh, Arope, the freshman from Omaha, Nebraska. Arope is only 6'6". He can't protect the basket like other guys on this team. And that's been a trouble spot right now. The last several minutes, Merrill has taken over going to the hoop. One more. 90% foul shooter. He's 5 of 5. They are 10 of 12 at the foul line as a team. Mensa back in. This will change things in the positive direction defensively for San Diego State. Largest lead of the game at 15 as Merrill converts them both. He's got 17 to lead all scores. Mitchell on the baseline kicks. Tough, McDaniels able to score it. Nothing has been easy for him, but he converts there. Taylor drops it and Bean dunks it. That is execution. McDaniels on the attack. Merrill, the rebound. The lead is 15 for the Aggies. Taylor, no, Taylor back up and he's fouled. Vince picks up his second foul. Kate is on the bench, but. They're fine right now with a 15-point lead and 8.29 remaining. They run different offense when he's in there and when he's not in there. They're more spread right now, and they're getting drives to the basket, and they are executing beautifully all of their set plays. When he is in there, changes things up because he's around the basket, so the basket area is not as clear for drives and cuts. Utah State takes care of business in the final 829. Bob, you get ready for Saturday in this building. Ooh. 
when 12th ranked Nevada comes in Ooh. with first place in the Mountain West on the line. It's going to be here on CBS Sports Network. It's a 12-3 run for the Aggies. They've opened it up by 16. Hemsley with Porter defending. Hemsley fell on the drive. Brito on the run. Bean to the rim. goes mad. Sixty to forty two with seven fifty eight remaining. Justin Bean has been electric in this second half, the redshirt freshman from Moore, Oklahoma. Ten points, five rebounds, five of six from the field for Mr. Bean. And no, he is not an actor. He is one high-energy basketball player. 2.8 for the season, 10 tonight. 18-point lead. Watson out of the timeout. Down the lane, short. Bean had his hands on it, and he's frustrated that he couldn't <laughs> grasp, fully grasp that one. So where will the offense come from down the stretch? Are we able to score that time? Bean, previous to this game, 10 was his high. So this by far is his best game of his short young career. Sixty to forty-four, Merrill in the drive. Slapped out of there by Hensley. Crowd wanted a foul. Seven to shoot. Hemsley just tripped. There's no ill intent there. Five to shoot, quarter of four. Merrill off the curl. Good defense, Hemsley, but then he falls. Merrill again cold from outside. Out of bounds to the Aztecs. Merrill's got 17. Three-point shooting not there tonight, but he's done it in other ways, and he's gotten the line where he's six of six. Hemsley with his team down by 16, seven to play. Nolan Narain, tough shot won't go. <laughs> Bean every time he does something well. I stand corrected, he had 12 in a game. But he's got 10 tonight, so he's, he's two off that. Yeah, but this is against a big time, big time situation. Bean. Short. Taylor, what an effort to knock it up and in. Tend to shoot Hemsley. Watson defended by Merrill, spins, scoops, no, Bean rips it down, Porter runs, and Porter pumps the brakes. Ten tired players. <laughs> Taylor turned it down. Tries instead, double pumps, got in the air and deflected and turns it over. Hemsley, one on two to the rim. 
And Brito pulls it out of there for the Aggies. Seeking their first win over San Diego State since joining the Mountain West. They were 0-11 against the Aztecs since the two became conference partners. Brito, corner. Tapped out by Taylor. How about Taylor? <laughs> He tapped that last one in in circus fashion, and now he keeps them alive with another possession. Smith resting his guys on offense. Merrill up and under. The largest. Merrill's hard to guard when you have fresh legs. He's impossible to guard when you're tired. The rain up and in. Three and a half to play. Porter. Got it. Porter commits the foul. The lead is 21 with a timeout at 310. Utah State looking to close out their 12th win in the last 13 games. Merrill on the move. Tired legs can't guard that guy. Ball fake. Take it in, Sam. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year, and by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 800 State Farm. Logan, Utah, 67-46, the Aggies. One of the hottest teams in the country, looking to make it 12 wins in their last 13. Up big with three and change left. We take a look at the AP poll, powered by Ram Trucks. Well, Kentucky's moving up, no doubt about that. They're playing great lately. Carolina had the big win at Duke where they smashed them good. Tennessee loses a couple of games very tightly. And Houston, the team from the American Athletic Conference, only one loss on the year. They are ranked eighth. This has been a fun night. You like college basketball. <laughs> you gotta make your way out to this, out to this building. These fans have been in it from the chump. Shackle fall away, knocks it in. Utah State's an interesting team. They take the break when it's there. They run their stuff very effectively in the half court offense. And their defense has been extremely impressive in this game. Shot clock at eight. Merrill. Quick release in and out. McDaniels the rebound. Player down for the Aztecs holding his knee. McDaniels offensive foul on the drive. It's shackle that it's and it's up slowly at the other end for San Diego State. Shackle had a sprained ankle earlier. Severe sprained ankle. Craig Smith, you know, we've touched on it throughout the night. First year head coach, and, and he's got more wins and a better winning percentage than any first year coach in America right now. 
Years ago, when you were the head man at Rutgers, and you see what, what the other guys have done, and Bob, when you were at Rutgers in your first year, you took a, a program that was downtrodden for a long time to the NCAA tournament in your first year. So you know a little bit about having <laughs> immediate success with a program as a head coach. Yeah, and it's exciting. And, and uh, the crowd situation uh, comes to life. It, 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 it blooms. It's unbelievable. And of course, uh, you know, we, we won the conference tournament, uh, did not get in a position like they are right now where they may win the regular season if they uh, have good luck against Nevada on Saturday on CBS Sports Network. And they certainly feel like they could get it at large. Again, Jerry Palm has him as among the last four in right now. Merrill tripped up on the way in. They are checking Shackle. We showed you the shot there on the San Diego State bench. That dinged one of his legs moments ago. A corner three from Mitchell. But with 140 left, the Aggies still maintaining a large lead at 16. Porter has handled the situation very well for his team. He only began starting 11 games ago. Being another board, Brito knocks it in. The rain is off. Minute left. 70 to 51. Utah State going to win their fifth straight and 12 of the last 13. They will get to 23 and 6. 13 and 3 in the Mountain West. In second place, just behind of 12th rank Nevada, who comes into this building this coming Saturday. It'll be right here on CBS Sports Network. And Taylor, for good measure, wouldn't fall. Final 25 seconds. Inside College Basketball is coming up immediately when we're done. We'll head back to our New York studios. Jamie Erdahl, Richard Jefferson, Brendan Haywood, Gary Parrish standing by. Mitchell knocks another one in from outside. Final 10 seconds. Very impressive win especially since San Diego State just beat Nevada at home. This team is way, way good. First win against the Aztecs since they joined the Mountain West. First year head coach, Craig Smith. He's riding a heck of a wave right now. Merrill led him with a 19, four in double figures for Utah State. Shackle had 15 in the Aztec loss. That is one happy coach right there. And those are happy players. You can tell how meaningful this game was for Utah State and all of their fans. Seventy to fifty-four is the final. Utah State. This is thirteen and three, so they are, by percentage points, <laughs> ahead of Nevada. Even though they both, uh, obviously, in thirteen and three for Utah State, Nevada there at twelve and two. Ten above five hundred for both. Saturday night, 8.30 Eastern. Here in Logan, Utah, 12th ranked Nevada. We'll take on Utah State. A battle for first in the Mountain West. Again, 8.30. Right here on CBS Sports Network. What a night for Bob Wenzel and our entire CBS crew. I'm Brent Stover. It's got a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. We send it back to Jamie Erdahl and the gang in our New York studio for Inside College Basketball. So long for Logan. Guys, take it away. Thank you so much, Brent.
Kevin Stover, I know you're usually in this chair, but I'll just take care of business from here on out. Hello and welcome to Inside College Basketball. I'm Jamie Erdahl, joined by Brendan Haywood, Richard Jefferson, and Gary Parrish. I was putting Richard at the end, but he's a seasoned vet now by the end of the night. Ooh, yes, Ooh. I will be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 70-54, your final for Utah State, taking care of business in the Mountain West. Before we get to the huge matchup they have Saturday, how they get here tonight? Well, you know, they came out and, like you said, took care of business. They were up at the half, and as I said at halftime, you just want them to okay finish this. Mm -hmm. Get these 20 minutes behind us, and then we can start looking forward 